Hey guys, what is going on? Let me know if you can hear me. We got Supreme33 in the chat. How are ya? I'm doing great, buddy. How are you? Hey guys, what is going on? Let me know if you can hear me. We got Supreme33 in the chat. All right, I think the sound should be working. How you doing, buddy? All right. Let's see if we can get Porthos today. trip like boulder dynamic and here we are we're gonna do the same old thing here hopefully I can get poor Thos I only got about an hour to do this um, I figured why not try this out I got one more stream before I go on vacation, so I figured I'd try this one more time. See if we get more people joining us, but uh, we'll head over there anyway and start fishing. get started same old setup let's see if we can snag the beast he's not even that big I don't think but he is elusive so I am looking forward to seeing if we can get him Oh man, already there's a ginormous pike. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. But already we got a big, big tank swimming to the right side there. Could barely make up a shadow, but...
All right, looks like we got something. Thanks to the little bass. Gonna let him go. That's we're just targeting Porthos right now. I'll bring in some big uh, predators though, of course. As usual. Man. Wonder if that's him. Don't know if you guys are seeing that crazy, crazy, crazy shadow. The bass are biting like crazy right now. Which is too bad because I don't want bass. Look at that. You guys see that? Whew. There are some massive predators swimming under the water just there. So we're just going to keep going, see if we can entice them. I'll switch. I'll do a couple more casts and I'll switch out to a different um, same type of lure, just a different. Oh. There's one that's even bigger than that guy. Look at that. Two ginormous ones. Let's just see. All right, I'll try a couple more. And then uh, I'll switch it out. They're going after it. They're just quite not biting it. Some big bass going after it too. Oh. Oh, I thought he was gonna bite it. He almost popped up by the rock there. And then uh, he started going after the lure. Alright, let's switch it out here. See if we can get him with this. With the foxy shad. Alright, I think we finally, finally got a pike here, I think. Yeah, we definitely have a pike. Or a muskie. But he's not taking the line out on me, he's beautiful size though. So he's going to be a nice one. Let's bring him in, see what he looks like. He's big. Finally running with it. I'm looking forward to see what we got here. It's not Porthos, but it's definitely a beautiful big fish. Hey, we got Ricky Hall, man. What's going on, buddy? We got a few people now. Um, this is great, man. Let's see if we can get him tonight.
Yeah, this might be Porthos' co cousin, or maybe his son. <laughs> we'll see, man. This, this is a nice fish. I've been fighting him for a little bit. Alright, finally he's in. Nice, look at this thing. Who? No, it's not him, man. But that is a... That's a monster musky right there, you know? That's a monster. 55 inches, 41 pounds. Yeah, I'm th I was thinking about that too. Uh, I might switch to the 50 pound line. Cause I caught him on the 40 pound line, but we'll see. We'll see. I might switch out to the. I might switch out to the to the 50 pound line in a bit here, or maybe I'll get one of my rods with the 50 pound. I'd rather fight him with the 80 pound though. That's for sure. Yeah, that was a that was a that was a tank, man. That was a tank. Let's see if we can snag us another big one. Cool. Nice looking bass. Oh, nice, man. Big Al. Nice. That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm happy that... Uh those old videos are still helping people, that's cool. There are so many trophy fish to catch in this game, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. This is probably... Uh, we'll see. I was saying earlier, Ricky, that this is probably my my uh, second, my last stream before I go on vacation will be on Tuesday. There's a small possibility that I may be able to do some while I'm on vacation, but it just kind of depends on the situation. Um, but anyway, so we'll see what kind of online tournaments there are uh, this week. I kind of dropped the ball on that, but uh, I didn't feel like... Uh, doing the online tournament tonight. I had a very long day today. Spent all day outside, was out on the lake. Um, we, were we went tubing and went kneeboarding. And then eventually I went fishing as well and just had a really long day. I got sunned out and uh, just wasn't feeling up to competition. So I figured, hey, Let's see if we can catch this big boy tonight. Oh, what do we got here? This is a bass. 
Chain pickerel, maybe? Oh, I, yeah, I think it's chain pickerel. Yeah, look at that. That's a beauty. Beauty chain pickerel. Personal best. Five pounder. That's a trophy, too. Nice. It's a nice looking fish right there. Yeah, I caught, I caught, I think, six fish today. But they were all, uh, they were all pretty small, so I had to, I had to release everything I caught today. I usually like keeping one or two for eating. This looks like it's a bass. No, I don't think it was. Was it? I don't think so, Ricky. Let me see. No, no. It's just a regular channel pickery, but it was a trophy. It was a trophy. I think I got another one here. I think this might be another, or yeah, this might be another pickerel. He might be bigger than the one I just caught. Oh no, this is just a small pike. Like a really small pike. Little 10 pounder. Man, the, I still I'm still seeing that shadow, guys. Big old shadow. Oh, this is a nice walleye. I'm gonna bring this walleye in. He looks pretty big, actually. I don't know if he'll be my biggest, but he's pretty big for a walleye, so. Wow. All right, not a record breaker, but I'll take him. Don't know if it matters, but you were casting in it in between those two trees. When I caught him? I don't think it matters that much, Ricky, but I mean yeah, it wouldn't hurt to maybe. In between two trees. There's a lot of trees, brother. These two? I have a feeling he means these two. Ricky, you mean right here? Those two trees that look very similar. Switch back to the other one and keep this going.
Oh, we got ourselves a poor strike. All right, it's just another chain pickerel. Man, the chain pickerel are just uh, everywhere right now. If you were wondering where to get a chain pickerel, this is the spot right here. All right, I'm I'm kind of just casting everywhere in the area right now. I'm pretty sure that, um, like for example, um, for example the the trophy, for example, let's say Black Mamba. That's Trophy Pike. That's a trophy pike in uh, Grand Union. And I've caught that guy like three or four times and it's been at three different pegs. So I, I don't know, maybe that's it's different, but I think once he gets spawned and tr he gets triggered, like he'll go for your lure. This is how I understand that anyway. Okay, we got Paul Stagal in the chat. He's already asking. He's already asking to use his favorite lure of all time. The only one he'll ever use. <laughs> the Sunset Sierra. Which I might do. Might do. Might do that in a moment. And we got Shadow saying, could you say E. Belbs? E bulbs, what is that? I don't know what that is, but I just said it. Ricky Hall is saying that I did get him to bite right between those skinny trees. And, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Shadow's asking me to say blalb. I don't know what that is. Um, Paul. Yeah, I'm, as soon as it hits the water and keep reeling. All right, man. I'm going to use that in just a minute. And Mellow Cieny is joining us. How late, how late am I? You're not that late, man. Just been going here for a few minutes. I don't know exactly how long. Oh, we got a little channel cat. We got ourselves a channel cat. Let's bring him in and take a look at him. Uh, we brought in a really nice uh, musky mellow. He was big. He was a big, big guy. There's a beauty channel catfish, 15 pounds, 21 inches. Fry him up. All right, let's see here. All right, Paul, let's see here. Let's see if we can catch Porthos with Paul's favorite lure. I'm gonna chuck this as far as I can. And we'll reel this one out 
in as slow as she goes. Well, there's a fish sticking its head out there. What is that? Is that a bass? Well, we got something. Not sure what it is yet. Doesn't feel Porthosish. It's a big bass. It's a big bass. All right, let's bring this bass. Take a look at him. Apparently, muskies are pretty popular sport fish here in KY. Is that Kentucky? Is that what you mean? KY. Kentucky. I think that's what that means. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty. They're very popular here in Canada as well, buddy. And uh, some friends have definitely caught some nice ones. You should definitely get out and uh, try to get some, buddy. All right. Wow, that's a big bass. That's a nice trophy bass. Nine pounds, 23 inches. All right, we'll do one more. Let's do it over here. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool, Mellow. You should definitely, definitely uh, go out and do some uh, some musky fishing. That would be really cool. I wish I could do that here. But I cannot. That's okay, though. Caught about five, six fish today. They were all little squeakers. Little, 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 little brook trout. Little tiny guys. So I had to catch and release all of them. But um, but it was still really fun. They were biting like crazy. Like I had maybe three bites in a row. And then things kind of slow down. And then I caught the rest. But we were only out there for maybe like an hour. Hour and a half. So a bit more time in that spot. I think you could probably get a big one. A nice, nice trout. Alright, going back to my top water lures, see if we can draw out this monster. Ricky says should I recorded it and posted it on the channel. Yeah, I guess I could do that, man. Um, I guess I could do that. It's just not not very good quality video or anything, but oh, we'll see. Those fish were like really little, though. Oh, it was nothing to write home about, man. I actually fell behind on uh, making videos. 
this week. But uh, I'm gonna try to make one tomorrow. Yeah, fishing sim channel with actual fishing. Let's bring this bass in and just take a look at him. He's a nice size too. He might be a trophy. A trophy smallmouth is what I think. Putting up quite the fight. Putting up quite the fight, this little guy here. Nice. That is a beauty small mouth. Okay, Paul, what's Paul saying? Drive around the rock to your right. You're too far from the spawn point. Uh, this is pretty much exactly where I caught him before, though. Maybe I was a little bit forward, so I will pull up a little bit. Let's see if that helps. But I don't know about driving around. Actually, like, if you, ca if you watched the very video where I caught him before, I'm casting right here, and I was right beside the rocks. I probably went ahead a bit too far, actually. So I'm just going to keep trying this way, just because this is what worked for me before. Are you saying you've caught Porthos before, Paul? Nice. Was between that little rock. Between that little rock. Huh. Oh, we got a poor strike, but that's about... Oh, that's a walleye anyway. I'm going to let him go. Yeah, like I said, I don't think that it really... I think as long as you're in this area, if he spawns and goes after your lore, that's... Uh, if he spawns in the area, he'll... He'll go. I did see a massive tank, tank, tank of a predator. Swim in here. Wonder what happens if a cast over here. I'm just gonna hit the rocks. Boom! Hit the rocks. Wow, there's a big fish right there. Is that him though? Oh, we got a little bass. Interference. Bass interference. Seeing a big fish down there, so I'm just gonna Let's see if we can get this big fish that's swimming around here. Who knows? Might be him. I don't think it's him though. Well, I'm snagged in the rocks. See that little monster? Oh, I think 
we got another chain pickerel. Man, today's chain pickerel day, man. Chain pickerel day. Welcome to chain pickerel extravaganza. I'm now casting by these rocks because I, I'm seeing two massive uh, like pikes here. Or muskies or whatever they are. Unfortunately, I keep getting nuisance bass. Nuisance bass. You can never catch them when you get them. When you need them. And then when you need predators, they're always biting. Wow, the water looks really crazy for me all of a sudden here. Yeah, I agree, Paul. I agree. Hook size does matter. That's why I'm using the biggest top lure I got. Four and a half inches of top water lure. Big muskies love these lures, man. I'm telling you, I caught so many of them. So many fish, so many fish. But I only care about one of them. And that's Porthos. Let's see what happens if I go here a bit. Whoa, jumpy bass. All right, I'm going to let him go. All right, guys, I'm going to change my line, see if that makes a difference. Just because I'm afraid he's not going for that 80-pound line. Going to get him with the exact same setup I got him before, except that it's 50-pound line instead of 40-pound line. And then hopefully that's enough. Warrior, it doesn't snap. It doesn't snap the line. That's where I caught him. People are saying this is Porthos water. Yeah, that's fair. I have seen a my gigantic tank swim in these waters. This is honestly, this is honestly so hard, man. Finding, finding this fish is the toughest thing in this game, probably. <laughs> I don't know that there's a harder fish to find. But, um, yeah, I mean, I might have to dedicate a mega stream, eight hour stream, finding Porthos. No breaks. Let's see what happens. There he is. Where he, where where he is? I didn't see him. Did you see a big tank? Did I miss one? Let's try again over here.
Chum the water. Chum the water, man. I know when I caught him, I never chum the water though. Is that a thing? Did he? Hmm. 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 Interesting. Oh, another bass. Get out of here, bass. Free bands. Only one person. Yeah, I know of, uh... I know of one person who caught him for sure. With, uh, photographic evidence. Someone told me there's a French guy that did it live stream. Where he caught it. Let's see here. We'll keep going around and around. Free bands. Who 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 are you talking about that caught him? Who's the person? Do you know? We got Philip Irvin. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Whoa. What do we got here? Bass. Yeah, it's a bass. See you later, bass. Cast over here. See, we can spot a shadow again. Oh, wow, there's a massive walleye there. But it's not Porthos. Oh, dang it. Poor strike. Sometimes I look at the chat, man, and I should not be looking at the chat, I'm telling you. Alright. What is happening here? Something's taking my line. 21 yards. 23 yards. 26 yards. This better not be him, because I poor stru struck him. 39 yards. 41 yards. 43 yards. This better not be him. I don't think it's him. This thing is taking my line out, but I'm not taking it enough. Oh, 45 yards, 47 yards, 50 yards, 56 yards. Dang, oh dang. What do we got here? Is it him? Is it him? And the chase is on. Is this the 50 pound line, guys, I got on right now? I can't. Yeah, I think it is. I cannot lose this fish for the life of me. We're chasing him down. I agree. I think Porthos should take you farther. 
I agree, I agree. But he's going quite far. I don't want to test him too much. Especially I got that poor strike on him. I definitely don't want him to go past the rock. Oh god, oh god, guys. Is this him? Could could it be? I'm worried he's gonna snap the line just because of the of the poor strike I got on him. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna be pretty conservative. But I mean I still gotta have some tension on the line, guys, because otherwise he's just not gonna get tired, right? That's what I think. But again, I don't wanna push it. Kind of stuck in this, uh, he's kind of stuck in this, in this little bay area. I'm gonna stop the boat just because, like, I, I need to have enough time to maneuver. This fish is too stressful, man. God. I can't even tell like where my boat is facing right now. This is a disaster. <laughs> What's up, Storm? I think we might have Porthos on the line here. We got Ryan. What's going on, Ryan? Um, yeah, we've been going for maybe an hour, but I think you got in here at the best part, buddy. Because this might be Porthos we got on the line here. And, uh, I haven't lost him yet. You guys are lagging about 20 seconds behind what's happening to me right now. Chased him down with the boat.
I got him on a poor strike. That's the worst part about this. But I mean, hopefully we'll be okay. That's why I'm not really testing the line too much. I'm trying to be pretty conservative here. Gonna have to chase after him again. This fish, I'm telling you, man. This fish is gonna be the death of me. This is a fight indeed. <laughs> Believe me, free bands. I, I could try to force them in more, but still want to risk it. I don't want to risk it, man. Yeah, Storm, I mean, it's a pretty fun game. If you can get it on sale, I would. They are releasing this company, Dovetail uh, Gaming, or they're releasing a, an all bass game. It's called Bass Masters, or Bass Master 2022. And they're gonna release it. It's supposed to come out in the fall. So. Yeah, it might be worth. It might be worth. Uh, like yeah, I mean it's a great game. I love it. I don't know. I don't play it on PlayStation Four, so I don't know what that's like. But I'm sure it's very similar. I'm gonna see if I can get a little closer to him. I don't want to get so close to the shore that I can't maneuver the boat if he goes around me. But anyway, uh, a storm. So yeah, it's a great game. You'll have a lot of fun if you like bass fishing. It's pretty good for that. I had a ton of fun bass fishing on this game. But they are releasing a new one that's all about bass fishing. So it depends on just how you are for funds. Um, but yeah. Oh, seven bucks? I mean, yeah. Like if it's on sale for seven dollars, dude, it's I th I'd say it's worth it. It's not Porthos, it's something, man. Might be a shark. Might be a whale.
How long have I been fighting this fish, guys? 10 minutes? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, for seven bucks, like, it's worth the seven dollars, I'd say. Now, keep in mind, uh, some, some of the lakes are DLC and stuff, right? You have to pay extra money. Some of the lore packs, things like that. But the vanilla version of the game is really good. I'd say it's worth seven bucks. I paid m more money than that for it. God, I've never been so stressed out in my life. What is this fish doing, man? Yeah, I think I paid around, I think 25. And I... I put a few hours into into it, man. Been playing for a year and a bit, and that's uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun, man. Great, great little game. Especially moments like this, dude. Especially moments like this. Free man's got it for free, nice. I know, Paul, but you gotta understand. I'm just trying to be so careful with this fish right now. I don't want to lose him again, and I got that poor strike. As long as he's starting to come in slowly, which he is, he is, he's coming closer to the boat. I'm paying attention to that yardage. Ooh. He's starting to get tired, I feel. He was at like 76 yards, he's not at 54 yards. Oh, holy moly. He's regaining strength. Omni Black says, hola, hola. My goodness, guys. This is nuts.
This fish is on steroids, man. <laughs> I wish I would have caught him on the 80 pound line. Believe me. Believe me. And I wish I would have gotten a perfect strike on him. I can't believe I got a poor strike. Looking over at the chat like a fool. Seeing what you guys were up to. <laughs> How long has this fight been, guys? Someone clocking in this fight? This is inhuman that I got a poor strike. I can't believe this. Yeah, Paul, definitely your fault. <laughs> oh, man, it's all good. You know, guys, there's a possibility I might lose him again. But that's, that's the game, you know. I know Omni Black, but like, I swear to God that I put that 80 pound line, I've spent hours looking for this fish, he doesn't bite it. I've put on 40 pound, 50, fuck! And he bites it. Alright guys. Second time I lose Porthos. I don't want a poor strike on a 50 pound line. And yeah. That's it for the stream, guys. You guys are awesome. We'll get them. We'll get them next time. We got Omni Black. We got Paul. We got Storm. We got Ricky. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming to hang out. Um, but yeah, that's it for the stream, man. But now we know where he is. Now we know he can be caught. It's just a matter of uh, a lot of patience. But anyway, I did my best, guys. I didn't I didn't even get a single exclamation point on that line. I chased him down. I was pretty close to him. I have no idea what I have to do, but uh, we're going to keep trying. All right, you guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you on.